Alright, TG Key and Adafruit bring you. Hi, on MPI. Okay, this week, it's worth it. Ah. <laughs> um, we have a new product introduction. Hi, MPI. It is. From Worth Electric. Electronic, which just sounds cool if you say it in German. Uh, this is a kind of a low-tech NPI, but it is very cool and shiny. It's this Shield DIY product. Um, and this is one of those things where if you don't know it exists and then you're like, you see, you're like, that's a really good idea. So if you are an engineer and you're building products, especially products that have motors or magnetics or RF components, you know that eventually you know you get stuck with too much interference either interference for your device or interference between your device and so you need something like a faraday cage which is like it's all this cool graphic uh from wikipedia and a faraday cage is you know a metal enclosure that um keeps the electrons on the inside on the inside and the electrons on the outside on the outside basically and so it shields the outside and the inside from each other it goes both ways so you you don't you don't have interference into your circuitry and you don't have interference to other circuitry being emitted. And um, you'll see this on electronics, like for example, here's this close-up of the Raspberry Pi 4. And if you look on the you know, kind of bottom right corner, there's this metal tin that's soldered onto the Raspberry Pi, and that's over the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth circuitry. And you can sort of see the antenna you know, right to the like northeast of it. Um, and this shielding uh, reduces electromagnetic interference. It you know, makes it easier to embed the Raspberry Pi in products because um, it, you know the, the emitting section is shielded and also probably improves the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth because you don't have it uh, getting interference from outside um, RF noise. So what's neat about this product is it's a DIY custom shielding cabinet kit and it's kind of like cool. It's this metal sheet and um, it's kind of scored every five millimeters and it comes in different sizes and shapes and it's made out of uh, nickel plated metal so you can solder to it as well which is which is key because uh, you'll eventually want to solder it onto a circuit board and it's like you know 20 bucks and you can get it from digikey and it's one of those things where if you you know when you get to the product state like productizing what you're doing you can get custom tins made but as you're doing your development um, getting custom tins made is actually kind of annoying and, and making your own is kind of a fraught process because it's hard to like get the spacing perfect but with these gridded sheets it's really easy you just cut it with tin snips it's and like metal it. graph paper it's yeah so cool basically that's what it is okay um so is it basically you know you get a big sheet you cut it you put these notches in the corner and then you solder the corners to make it into a case and then you solder it onto the pcb and you can you know of course pick any size or rectangle you like you can even make uneven shapes if you if you want how do you know it works, though? What do you mean how it no works? Well, how do you know it works? It's, you, you sent me a video. Oh, because you have, because we, have, we have a video. <laughs> I was just like, I like, I don't have to prove it right now. Um, well, normally, you know, you, you when you're doing this kind of testing, you do have a spectrum analyzer. Yeah. Or you can watch this handy uh, one-minute clip. Oh, let's watch this. Well, you, worth. Well, you, you know, when we work on IMPI stuff, uh, Lady Ada sends me all this information, and I, and I check it out, and, and then we do the show. And so this is the accompanying video yes. to show that this actually does work. Okay, it's a it's a clip of a longer video. The whole video is seven minutes long. Yeah, we're but it, we got to like the on our post that we do exciting. for IMPI. Uh, we'll link to the whole video, but here's a little snippet. Yes, I will open a new trace. Signal generator off, and I will change now this cabinet. This cabinet will be soldered here on this ground plane, completely around. Because just to not waste time, I have already something prepared. This is really the same inside the same strip line. And I will connect now the 50 ohm termination, connecting the signal generator. Put it in the fixture. We have here the same distance. 
and signal generator on and maximum hold on. And now you can see the effectivity of this shielding cabinet for electrical field. We have here a max. Okay. Right, so it works. Proof. And uh, you have a little bit of a demo here. Yeah, so I got, I just want to show the sheet off because I think it's, it's worth seeing it. So yeah, it comes as this kind of like electronic grid paper and um, it's scored so you know you can um, bend it you can even kind of bend it to, to, to crack it although uh, I would also recommend uh, picking up metal shears and using that if you want to cut it um, so I cut out this shape and then I snipped out the um, corners and then you just use pliers to um, bend it carefully and again you saw if you bend it too many times it does eventually crack so you don't, you don't want to bend it like three or four times once or twice is plenty and then um, you use the table and then ta-da you've got a wonderful little metal shape so you can use it for enclosures That's I cool. think there might be some other uses for it as well but definitely I've seen this issue where like during prototyping you want to try different shielding um, and you you know getting a custom tin you kind of have to order they're inexpensive they're only like 10 cents but you have to order like a hundred thousand and what's nice about this is that yeah. you just make it test your design and then you can order the custom tin based on how big you needed it. So that okay. is this week's MPI. And uh, it, you can get this on DigiKey. Cost just a Tubman. The product number is 732-360002, Andy. Or you can use the short URL. I'm a super big fan of DigiKey short URLs. Yeah, short so URL. digikey.com slash short. Z R T M V B, and you can check out our blog post and more. And that is this week's Eye on MPI. Eye on MPI.